start soon, I just have to check audio. All right, let's play the game. Small thing to note, I may have a slight flimminess to me. I just ate a sandwich. Ah, but that should pass the more I hydrate. Okay. Last time. In the Binding of Isaac, we unlocked this character. Isaac? Twisted sort of Isaac. The same character, but not quite the same. As all of these are. Let's try him out! Okay. Everything's looking relatively normal so far, except for that thing up in the corner, but I don't know. that could be anything. Aha, and behold! Tainted Isaac, or B side Isaac, or T Isaac, gets more options, but less room. Each one of these items is going to take up what would be best described as an inventory slot. And I only have eight. Mm. So, uh, they're an entirely new way to play the game. And you could say that about all of the B-side characters. Essence of Isaac, the character. But in their own way, something brand new. 
it's a really cool uh, it's a really cool concept I'm glad they I'm glad they did this and there is a reason that I've been waiting so long putting it off for so long to uh, unlock the first of these characters and heck might unlock another one today I'm not sure I'm as of yet undecided we'll see how well the first T. Isaac run goes Like that for the black heart and check the shop. Oh, one of you come over here so I can blow this up for free. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I have no active item, so they have nothing to suck. This new run can be normal. Exceptionally normal. If I shoot, that's gonna move the brain. And if the brain hits something, it will explode, so. Okay, no 50 50 that time, that's fine. Ooh, dry baby. Sure, I'll take dry baby. And I'll sacrifice a heart to do it. There we go. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Wooden nickel should get me enough coins for the next shop. Ouch. In short order. I will absolutely spend seven cents for five keys. And... Hmm. I don't need it after that. Anything that can give its benefits once and then be put down uh, to make way in the inventory for something else is going to be a good thing for this character. We'll take Glass Eye. Damage up is nice. Ouch. Okay, Red Patch. Red Patch works like new Samson. Ow! Which means when I take damage, it has a chance to give me a damage up for the room. <laughs> Thank you, Dry Baby. Shot speed and damage up. And sure, let's see what's inside. I will take that, because that means more angel deals. Or more accurately, it means the option of angel deals. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Actually, I'm keeping a good pace. I'll just head down to the next floor right now, and we might be able to make boss rush. I will take one floor of downpour or dross. Even though I'm a little weaker in the health department right now. Okay. Mm, don't want to go in there just yet. Thank you, Dry Baby. Oh, 
Hmm. Okay, what do we got? That's an all stats up. I'll be right back for you. I have plans, actually. Okay. I want to see what's in here. No. Okay. Now... I want to see what's in here. Hmm. I'm thinking 8-ball. Because it gives an extra planetarium chance. And a card, which I could use to teleport out. Nope, okay. Well, let's just make the fights in here easier. Simply have to not get hit. Ah, oh, ho, ho, the brain was wasted on a little tiny leech. How annoying. Gotcha! And I still haven't taken red heart damage on this floor from an enemy. Excellent. So I should be able to just pop back here, take the all stats up, <laughs> and heal. Excellent. However, that's now all of my item slots, which means that the next item I take is going to replace one of them. Ah, Ash says, hi, Smuck, I'm lurking. Good to see you, Ash. How's Sassy's stream going? If Sassy is still going, uh, when I'm done streaming here, then I will absolutely raid. Ta -da -da. Okay, get rid of those two. Ouch. Ah, that's rough. I let myself get cornered. I would like... Sackhead, actually, would be very good. Good, I think. She's decorating it. Ah, lol. Glad to hear it. Sounds like a fun time. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll pick that and move on. Uh, sure. I shall donate to you. How much health do you want? Well, we got... Burp. I'm drowsy. That's good. I uh, might as well check here for a secret and get the red heart. Ooh, more coins. Oh, oh. Okay. That's fine. I can heal up. And I'm glad I made the space for the rotten heart. Who are you? Hello, Rainmaker. I beat you about five seconds ago. And I expect, thanks to Dry Baby, it'll go about the same. Yeah, about the same. Uh, fortunately, HP ups will heal me and give me the health container. The heart container, and then I can put them down without consequence. Mm, this character would have been a lot different if dropping an HP item got rid of the HP that it gave you. Mm, I'm guessing this is the super secret? No. Interesting. I'll take my sodas, and then those trinkets will show up at the start of the next floor. Yeah. So I can choose from them again now. I'll hold on to red patch for the floor, and then maybe change after. There we go. Get you into narrow tunnel, so it'll be easier to hit you without you wiggling around a lot. Get rid of you. 
Bob's brain has this. And if I don't give it any momentum, like that. Ugh. Okay, next item, I'm getting rid of Bob's brain. It's too risky. It was obviously very effective for the first few floors, but at this point I think I'd rather not have it and not get blown up. Chargers are no match for me. Okay, cycling through my items, I think I'd be okay to get rid of the 8-ball. It gives some planetarium chance. Now what, what, what was I saying? What was I saying? No, getting rid of Bob's brain. Hmm. Not that, thank you. I'll hold on to Red Patch. Shame I couldn't get the guy to pay out with an item. Hopefully it would have been better than the brain. However, I believe I do still retain uh, the, the property of having picked up Bob's brain for the sake of transformation. Ow. Well, that's no good. You can see the effect of Red Patch. No. Need health at this point. What have we got? Range up. Accepted. Certainly. Oh dear. Oh no! Oh! Ah! Ha ha! I went for so long without any hearts. Any hearts. Okay. Running that back. This time it's gonna go better. <laughs> I need to stop playing as risky as I would in my first two files, where consequence just meant another run and not, you know, screwing with the length of the stream or something like that. Focus on dodging, and also not making incredibly risky plays, like getting rid of 90% of my health. Sure. Hello, Ragman. Hello, Champion Ragman. Spider-Man. That's the worst you can do in half of your health bar. I think I'll be okay. Ouch. Fortunately, hitting the head still counts as doing damage to ah, the enemy. We'll take that HP up, and I definitely want whatever the item room is on this floor. Please bring it to me. I don't like this room. The little guys get stuck in the cracks and it becomes hard to deal with them. It seems they've chosen to come to me though. How, How handy. Oh, infested! And the good one. Infested exclamation mark gives you spiders based on the number of those obstacles in the room. Uh, I'll take Bob Bob's curse for the bombs, because I only had one. 
uh, infested question mark gives you a spider for every enemy in the room, I believe. Ah, with the bomb locks there, I might have been able to leverage getting the coin as well, but it doesn't matter that much. What have we got? More pills. And <laughs> there's infested with a question mark. Bombs are key, okay. Now I have... Mm, speed up, shot speed down. I guess I'm okay with that. <sighs> there isn't really an item in the game that changes the property of your key. Unless you count sharp key, I guess. That doesn't really count. Actually, let's use monster manual once. We got little Loki. And it all comes full circle. Okay, so I should have four heart containers and one soul heart. And you know what? I'll pop the book make things a little interesting. And it has given me a black heart. Ouch. It has given me a half of a black heart. Uh, but it, uh, it, it has also transformed the boss item into something else. Ouch. <sighs> Fine, what's in here? PhD would be good. I think I'll just buy that for the health and then move on. Why did I do that when I could have bought a three cent battery and used the book a second time? Foolish, foolish. Slow down and think for a second before you make these plays. Ah! Okay, get rid of the cloddy. Don't like the cloddy. No, stop cornering me. No. I am the one who corners. Ugh. It's funny, the the pooters well, the, the gray flies that spit projectiles at you are better flies than regular attack flies. But the big red ones that try to circle you, those are the ones that are called the level 2 attack fly. Frankly, it's a little silly. I'm just gonna put some on there and take out most of them. Hello, troll bomb gurglings. Fortunately, uh, while they appear to be bomb resistant, they are not immune to their own bombs. Which makes dealing with them very easy if you can dodge a bomb. Uh, don't know how I feel about that. Sure. take both of those. And I don't think I can take that without dying. I still haven't been to the item room. I'm making slightly worse time than last run, but that's okay. And bomb here for five cents and the rock. Okay, excellent, excellent. Massive return on the investment. And I think I'll take uh, projectile protection. Because defense is something I was somewhat lacking at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing super secret. 
I'm losing my touch. I'm losing my edge. All right, what have we got? Nev I'm, never mind, I totally could have afforded that, but look at this. Polyphemus. Ouch. Jolly good thing I managed to actually make it out of there with uh, the iframes from that damage. It does make charging the knife a lot slower. But that's probably fine. I can get a couple of tears ups to offset that. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ow! I can't open any of these. I can't start it, which means that was a waste. Dang it. I'm going to not use... Ow. Not use that just yet. Have I used it this floor already? Ah, forget it. Next floor. I'm going to avoid using it. And then I should be able to get a regular boss item. Now, if I can get the battery, that would be nice, because that would mean I could hold on to the charge until the floor is over, and then just pop it twice. Ooh, I do like Black Candle. Thank you. Black Heart from Black Candle. Ooh, I know exactly where to use this bomb's our key pill. I'll just pop back here. <laughs> bomb here. And here, pop pill. And open these up. With the book, thanks. Ow. I ran right into that. Goodness. Which of these would I give up at this point? Possibly projectile protection. But this is a crazy run already. Holy cow. Bigger bombs that are poison bombs. That's a nice little synergy. <laughs> I believe the poison cloud should be bigger too. I'll test it out when I get the chance. It's a mimic. It's fine. All right, let's see. Yeah, kind of a bigger poison cloud. Tears. Tears down! Yeah, I guess I'd be okay with getting rid of poison bombs. They're not that much of a help. Actually, you know what? That's bookworm. This one does five damage, or I stick with some... I, I, I stick with the... I stick with this. I stick with this book. I need to get better at dodging. Ah! <laughs> ah! 
Ash says, I believe in you. Thank you, Ash. I believe in me too. It's just a little hard. Okay, I'm avoiding using the book, this floor. Goodness. There we go. Gotcha. At long last. Okay. Uh. I'll data miner once. What's the worst that could happen? Minus one damage for extra range. But that effectively means my shot will go further with less charge. Than before. Yeah, that's good. Either of those would be a good get. But I don't have quite enough points. isn't Hades anymore. The knife isn't going to block projectiles. And there are no Athena boons in this game. I've just got to rely on my flies. That range up from Data Miner was actually quite nice. Check here. Okay. It's checking there for a secret room. Because if it was next to the boss trap room, it would have been free access to the boss trap room. Yes, health! Thank you! It is caves too. Faster than I thought I was. Just a little bit, but still. All right. Boss is gonna be around here somewhere. Hello, needle. Goodbye, needle. Excellent. Excellent. I would love money equals power. And let's see what's in here. Oop, it's Krampus. Hello, Krampus. And that's one guppy item. Gotcha. If I time it right, which I did. Excellent. And I will trade a bomb for a black heart. A speed down. Not ideal, but it's fine. It's fine. And then let's just go downwards. Might be able to make the boss rush after all. Every coin makes my attack more potent. The question is, will it be worth giving up an inventory slot for that? Ah! No, just get rid of the heart. Okay. Excellent. Gotcha. Spiders. Good, good, good. That pays for entry if I don't mess up here. Okay, cool, cool. So essentially, the contents of a Burkano room. And that's it. Tick. If I do go for boss rush, this is going to be very nice. I can't trade it out for another trinket, but that's okay. It's almost fitting with the concept of the character. I cannot hit both of them from one side, which would mean hitting them without releasing them. Please don't be a five. Interesting. 
Interesting. That'll re-roll everything on the room. And that will also trigger the ability again, or it should. Um, there'll be a bunch of backtracking, though, for that. I don't know how I feel about that. There we go. Keep popping the book. Glad to have run into two large rooms in a row. That's extra charge. Ouch. Sure, I'll, I'll do this. It's extra time spent, but it's also extra charges gained for the book. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Not worth it. Yeah, no, that that's still fine. Actually, I'll go back and blow that guy up for the extra deal chance. Yeah. And... Tooth and Nail should allow me free access into curse rooms if I'm willing to wait just half a second. What's in here, and is it worth giving up? That's five bombs. Seven cents and a little bit of damage. Accordingly, four, five bombs. I'm okay with that. Go! That strikes me as a secret room. It was. Excellent. It's just red hearts. It's just red hearts. Gotcha. Gotcha, too. I'm fine with passing those up. I will be right back. I heard a noise. I need to check on it. Alright, the noise was not, in fact, a home intruder, but rather, my roommate. Good, good. Everything is as expected. Yes. Get rid of the projectile guy. There we go. Orf. Ouch. Eh, uh, bomb here. Contents of that chest. Alright, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> stabby, stabby. Um, sure, I'll pop that again. Because this is the mom floor, it won't actually be a deal. It will be the Polaroid and the negative. <laughs> I could donate. Mm, I won't. That, that, excellent. In here. Aha! I think it can be done. Ouch. <laughs> and I will take the Polaroid. And... Hmm. 
question is what to take here. Conehead or the D6. I don't think I'm going to use the D6. Or Glitter Bombs. Or Bozo. Or Explosivo. I think Conehead it is. And I will trade that out for the projectile protection. I should be getting another black heart every three waves. Starting now. Excellent. And the waves are passing pretty quickly, so I'd say I have fairly good odds. Let's get rid of this one. And that's for the black heart. My, how very kind of you. Blech! Don't suck me in. Thank you. Get rid of the ads. Get rid of the ads before they cause a problem. Okay. Mask of Infamy is no big deal. Uh, this guy just exploded a skull, and that gave me two hearts, which is useless to me because it means red hearts when it says that. Ouch! It's ability already lost. So much lower than it used to be. ones that try to evade me the most are probably going to be particularly annoying. The ones that stay still will get destroyed. Yeah. Yep. Avoid the creep. That, that, that creep is easy to notice. I'm surprised there isn't an enemy in the alt path chapter 4 that leaves creep like that. Unless there is, and I simply don't remember it. Ouch. Okay. B -b 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 Book of Shadows, or... I think I trade in the Mega Bombs for Botfly. Yeah. Because I could go for Hush, too. Now, you might have noticed, no unlock just for beating Boss Rush. That's because the B-side characters have a few conditions to their unlocks. For example, there is an unlock you get for beating both Boss Rush and Hush. Not individual bo Boss Rush and Hush unlocks. Okay, so this floor's boss item is going to be the Devil Deal item. Excellent. Uh, let's up the chances. Except not actually, because I already had 100%. Okay. All is fine. Ouch. Stupid. Not worth it. Not worth the time sink. Okay, what if I bomb here? Will I be able to get both of those? Excellent. I stepped on creep from one of the polyps. I forgot those things can leave creep. I am annoyed. I'll hold on to bombs our key. It is the most useful thing to me here. Can't kill most of the enemies though. Okay. Wait a tick. Tooth and nail procs, and I get the invincibility. Shove that in there. Excellent. No? Okay. And wait a tick for it to proc again, and I can walk out. Okay. 2403, which means I've got six minutes approximately to get through two floors. 
fine with that. I, I can make that. Ouch. That's fine. This is one bomb for two bombs. If I shove it in just right. Yeah, it's one bomb for two bombs and a key. An angle! Ah! Black! Gotcha! Two bombs for three bombs there. Not gonna worry about it. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about any of those. Could get them all for free with a considerable time investment. I'm not investing that time. Not today. Not when there is hush on the line. And also, the boss was not north. Okay, I'll go straight down into this other larger room. Excellent, okay. Because I figured there were greater odds of running into the boss from the larger room. Okay, I just gotta dodge all of his beams. There we go. And that was a troll bomb. Sums up my day quite nicely. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see then. Let's see. I'll trade. I'll trade in that for that. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why. And then I'll pick that up and. You know what? I'll hold on to it over. Over Black Candle. A chance to respawn could be quite good when my health is, is low. And for maybe, maybe the first time on the channel? I'm not sure. We get to see the Brimstone Mom's Knife Synergy. <laughs> if you charge it up, you get a bunch of knives. But if you just spam it a little bit, you get a handful of knives. And that can be just as good, particularly when my damage output is so high. Ouch. Mistakes were made. Tap, 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 tap. Send out a barrage of knives. Excellent. <laughs> I'm thinking that space to the left of that room, or underneath this one, is probably our secret. Ooh, no. Okay. 48 hour energy! Yes! Thank you. Two minutes to find and defeat the boss. Can I do it? Uh, I can't pick that up. Thank you for the help. through rooms here, but... Mm. 
There it is. Now, can I beat you in one minute? That did it, all right. <laughs> and down we go. And I no longer have... I no longer have money equals power, so I don't have to worry about conserving cash. So let's check out. Untab it for the better... Better book. Mm, I don't think so, but I can purchase this and get one charge off of it. That was a 15 cent black heart. Hmm. Don't think I need to worry about explosion resistance. Hush doesn't use any explodey attacks. I'll pick that up for the chance of getting conjoined. shots. I think I have to try Deadeye. Question is, yeah, I, I'll give up Guppy's Collar for Deadeye. Three cent sack containing three cents. Oh, interesting. And I'll just donate the rest. Enjoy those coins on a future run. Alright, let's see if Deadeye will work with uh, Mom's Knife Barrage. It doesn't appear to be, which means I can go swap it out after this fight is over. Steady from that. Damage from this is quite nice, and Botfly is doing a great job at destroying projectiles, making things a little easier on me. Ouch. Get in there with knife. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Botfly. Right here. And it's in the same place, so this should be just as an effective a spot. Just as effective a spot. I should be just in as effective a spot. Soul of Isaac has appeared in the basement, and... Can we go to Lyrium? I think we go to Lyrium! Because why not? So much for a regular first run with this character. Let's do another. And you know what? I don't care if I run into... Well, I'll do one more. Now, so I get an extra black card. Mm, I'll, I'll take the Fool. If it's Delirium, I'll pop the Fool. It's Delirium. Goodbye! So now I've identified Delirium's location, and I'll just charge up my active some more and get the full health. If I run into another boss, then I'll see what they have to offer. Oh, I, I want to get rid of Deadeye. Right, right. Forgot about that. Ouch! I was paying more attention to the tiny little mini-map up in the corner than me on the actual map. 
Copy item. Yeah. <laughs> now I can fly. Wait, why why was I doing that when I could fly? I can fly. Wait, that doesn't this mean the bosses on this floor will have Actually, I don't remember. Will the bosses on this floor have double deals for rewards? <gasps> Only one way to find out, and that's to find a boss and fight it. And win, I suppose. Another, another prerequisite of that. Hmm. No. Okay. Not bad. Might have been a battery. I could have used it on. But, ooh, I have Belial. That might actually work. Let me see. Are they gaining homing after hitting something? No, it doesn't look like it is. What about the main charge to shot? Does that gain homing after hitting something? I might not find out ever, because I have an army of flies. It doesn't look like it does. Okay. In that case, I'll take Judas's shadow in case this doesn't work out, and I'll just go fight Delirium, I guess. Well, no, I, I can, I can get one more. Fight. Voids. Destroy the voids. Excellent. All right, delirium fight time. What's in this room? Right, flight stuff. Well, now I have flight. Hmm. And before is useless to me, but I might as well grab. Yeah, mom's ring. Put the ammo up. Yeah, that's okay. You know what? Sure. To act with Judas a shadow. I don't care. How's that actually would have been nice here? Yeah. Not very fun fact about Mom's foot. It can telefrag you because it tracks your location while it is in the air. And normally that's not an issue for the main boss because uh, while it's in the air, it is unable to hurt you. But Delirium can turn into a different enemy at basically any time. And when it does that, it can suddenly gain a hitbox and damage you and kill you instantly. If you're a weak character or have no health. Fortunately, uh, I melted. <laughs> ah, Delirium does have an unlock. And that is... Uh, I don't remember what it is. Spend down dice. Spend down dice. Okay, cool, cool. Spend down dice has appeared in the basement. Yeah, let's do another one. Curse again. It probably would have been more advantageous to take Papa Fly because Papa Fly would contribute to a transformation uh, even after I get rid of it. Ah, oh, come on, come over here and stay over here so I can test this spot. Yeah, for a secret room. Nice. And I will bomb here for two cents and the chest. Vibrant ball. This could be handy, but it's a little difficult to use. 
as well. Gives you a bunch of stats up. And a bunch of good stats up. If you have an active item at full charge. I believe the counterpart uh, is also quite good. But it's equally very annoying to use. No. Ah, stop blinking. Ah, there's something in my eye. Here, let me get it out. There we go. There we go. All right. I definitely want that one. Uh, Aries. Sure. All right, now, if I'm moving at a certain speed, I don't take contact damage, which means I can just... Bam! Ah! And then I hit the wall, so I stop moving at a certain speed, of course. It says ramming speed. It was actually... It was actually rebalanced. When I... When I reach a certain speed, I then stop taking the contact damage and deal contact damage myself. But you have to maintain that speed. Because if you don't, you will take damage. Okay. And I will still take damage from creep, so I can't do anything about that. You know what? Goodbye. Uh, I will take that. Thank you. What do we got? Two of hearts. Two. I'll just pop that now. Hearts. Joker. Two of clubs. Ace of clubs. Strength. Uh, I think I'll take the ace of clubs back here. Wait, no. Let's go back there. Okay. In that case, I will take Joker out of the room. Ace of clubs in here. Thank you. Pick these up. And head down. Please be. If I can go to this other one, excellent. Which means I should be able to just. Okay. Not quite the. Off, I was hoping for, but it's fine. What's in here? Okay. Mm, I don't think so. Ramming speed! Okay. Ramming speed! Ramming speed! Ramming speed! If I fight the current, I think I won't be able to pick up enough speed for the item to take effect. Which means I have to be going with it. Ramming speed! Ooh, the spider webs. That could have been bad. Uh, as a small reminder, I don't want to take red heart damage on this floor because that means I'll miss out on something. Red heart enemy damage, I should put Yeah, and their explosions are still gonna hurt me if I ram them, so I, sh I, I shan't. There we go. Okay. okay. Uh, I'll just pick whatever this is. Belly button. Two trinkets. I don't hate that. Okay. Mm, I don't, I'll take this. Glowing hourglass. Very nice. Looking for the extra coin, broken magnet. After all, it kind of works. Aha! And there is so high protection. Excellent.
I will, I will play this bomb bomb. They're giving you red, red HP or coins. And, most importantly, a bomb item. Thank you. So, Holly Penis shoots big. Whoop. If I lose the deal, I can pop Glowing Hourglass and get that field chance back up to three times. Which means I have now four tries on this boss to get a deal to show up. There we go. I got it to show up anyway. It's damage up. And it's a multiplied because Holly Penis is a big damage multiplier. Now, uh, this floor, I actually do want to take red heart damage on the boss. Because I can pop uh, the Joker card then when the deal does not show up. better piercing? I think it is. I think it is. I think it's not getting its damage to diminish. Damage! Bleh. Diminished. By passing through an enemy. Which means that's actually really good. It's not. Holy cow. The crazy combo. Usually poly tears will... Uh, will we'll shrink when they hit something. It's a pseudo piercing, really. Yeah. I know I said I want to take red heart damage, but I kind of don't have any. Kind of don't have any red hearts to spare at the moment. with restock? I don't think so. Okay, there we go. Speed up. That's nice. Oh. Want to take red heart damage here. Okay, but I want that to be my only red heart damage. Excellent. Now I can pop the Joker card. Oh my gosh. Oh, do I take Crown of Light or do I take Sacred Heart? hard it is because of the homing and I did that stuff on my damage ah. <laughs> okay I'd like to bait each of these purple fires into shooting at me because they can only do so once ow that one got me anyway that one you're gonna ow okay one that I'm most likely to want to get rid of, Ares. Fortunately, key items do not take up an inventory slot. Woo! Let's head on down. 
And now I've retained the 100% deal chance, which means I'm guaranteed, guaranteed, to eventually get another angel deal. You know, provided I don't screw up massively. But I do have, I do have the glowing hourglass to up my odds of getting, Lucky Look at that! That's amazing damage! Ah! <laughs> Yo! Yo! Don't play risky, this is a crazy good run! Okay blow this up. Thank you. There we go. And what's in the chest? Excellent! Health. Much desired health. Uh-oh. Ah, yeah, I don't think I was getting out of that without taking the explosion damage. There was nowhere to flee that would not also result in me taking explosion damage. Although, maybe if I'd blown, maybe if I'd blown it up before the bomb did? I don't know. Hmm. Potato peeler is very good with this guy because you can get as many hourglass though I think I take potato peeler and then try to get as many HP ups as possible so I can get up a ton of meat boys and because potato peeler gives uh, I, I believe it's permanent damage up when you use it which should in turn be multiplied by my damage multipliers and also grants creep for the room that you use it. And I'll save it for the boss fight before I use it once. But I will use it once this floor. Alright. Permanent damage up. Range up two, maybe? Which is good. With piercing and homing. And creep. You can see I'm leaving creep. Mr. Dolly. Excellent. Okay, so. Yeah, the range up might not have been permanent. I should have paid more attention. Uh, okay, so there can't be a room off of either of those, which means the item room is off of this big room down here, the L-shaped one. I do want to at least check it out. Oh, yeah, tier rate's a lot better. Homing bombs. Uh, not the homing bombs. Over bobby bombs. Yeah. And if I'm hanging on to this, then lit bulb is not a big deal, so I could put it down. But I don't think... Ow! I don't think I'll bother. Alright, heading down. <sighs> More HP ups. Give them to me! I can trade several bombs. Or several keys. Three bombs for four keys. Given that I had... 11 bombs and zero keys. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Mm -hmm. I apologize if you hear voices in the background. That would be my roommate. Dead onion. No. I think I'll hang on to that for now. Interesting. That one's cycling between a 10 cent item and a 15 cent item. 
they don't know what either of them are. <laughs> Ow. Curse of the Blind is horrid for... Ooh, the fight's going to be particularly good for this character. For this run in particular. Because... They're gonna deal a, deal a ton of damage. Oh my god, I might be able to make boss rush again. Uh, wow. What do we got? That's an HP up. Excellent. Uh, moving forward, I'll drop Mr. Dolly. What's that? Circle of protection. You know what? I'll take it for the fight. Much of a tears up is that? No, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep circle of protection. Sure. Okay. I'll keep moving downwards. And then there is a guaranteed fool card that will show up somewhere on this floor. If I grab it, I should be able to make a boss rush. Grab an item from inside boss rush and then teleport out. I would very much like to protect this one part. It covers the cost of entry, and that is it. But it does mean that I'm no longer putting the rotten heart in danger just from going into a room. <laughs> yeah. Applying my massive damage up to the tears that the circle of protection reflects. Never mind, this was a great get. Yup. Home bombs for making sure that. Hit. And you know what? If I can get a uh, blood bank from. If I can get a blood bank from this uh, blood bank. That's another HP up to turn into another Meat Boy. Aha! Oh. That's like Toxic Shock over Homing Bombs. Not quite what I was looking for, but still good. Toxic Shock. Uh, sure, I'll take that over the light bulb. That's one homing, or not, not homing. Uh, I've got homing. That's one uh, holy mantle per floor. Hmm. That could be an interesting combo, to be sure. How good is this? No, I need someone to test this out on. Now I need someone to test this out on. Come on. Ow. Let's go, Light Path. It 
that's too massively impacting my tier rate, though. I already have seven damage tiers. Hello. so I don't accidentally lose it. Although I feel like the odds of that are pretty slim, given that I'm now. Given that I'm wrecking most things before they have the chance to hit me. And no chance. Actually, let me just. Oop, there we go. Now I'm leaving grief myself. <laughs> I don't even have to do this for an unlock. I just wanted to get rid of Epic Egg. destroyed it thanks to toxic shock. Yeah, big stretch. Take a drink. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll grab that. What's in here? Okay. Not worth Yeah, plus 0.69 damage, plus a little range for the room. Let's see, I... Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if, mechanically, it gives you uh, Lazarus's starting item. The, um... is blanking. I know exactly what to blame for that, but... bombs that I might be able to give to that bomb bomb, that I might be able to get an item that it might cycle into an HP up. Have I checked here for the secret room? I haven't. Yeah, probably. Two bombs. I 
about that rock. Nope. It's a normal rock. Or at least normally ish. HP to spend on my little meat boyfriend. Yes, yes. Well, of these, I want to pick this up. Foil the shot of conjoint. Can you give me or No, that definitely looks smudge on my screen. Hmm. There's rock back here. Where was it? This room? No. This room? <sighs> Somewhere around here was a rock that I thought looked suspicious. I thought it might be a super secret rock. Oh, well. <laughs> Ow. Sure, I'll have a look at what's in here. Ooh, rotten baby. And it will be conjoined. Okay, so forty three damage, twenty three damage. And what if I drop Sacred Heart? Twenty nine damage. Okay, so I, I'm free to drop Cricket's head. So now I'm shooting three shots that are all homing. Yes. It's all coming together. <laughs> what could be in here? That's an HP up item. Should have done that before. <laughs> I've already got a super meat boy, but I could get another if I get enough HP ups. I think I'll hold on to the HP for n Well, no, I'll get one more for the defensive properties of the cube. Hold on to the rest for the sake of my own safety until I get enough that I feel like I have excess. <laughs> what is the pill? Tears up! Nice! Much appreciated. Sometimes a uh, spirit heart just spawns there. Secret room. Secret room. <gasps> Another eternal heart. Cool. If I get a third, then maybe I can actually get a second HP up from them on this floor. And that piercing means I don't have to worry about the knights. <laughs> 
and I don't have to worry about Hush either, so I'm just gonna go up. Go, go. <laughs> Ouch. Frankly, that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Just gotta keep saving up. Spirit hearts? No. Fuck up. Nice. I don't think I have anything that relies on that. I'd say it's going well. Ow. This is fine. Okay. Last floor. What's in the chest? Stan won't stand on chance. Tosis. Got range mega tears. Ooh, not worth it. Oh, hello. Goodbye. What we got? Ooh, that could be good. Lock ya up. Lock your penny. Metro. Metro. Sure. I'm okay playing like this for a little while. Oh, even if it's screws with visuals. Considerably. Ah, thank you. Quite a few of those. It's fine. That. No, 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 no. Well, I'll drop that there. I'll remember the room with the trinket icon it is the dangerous one. You, Hierophant. Much appreciated health boost. That was a not appreciated health removal. Ah. Uh, me the fly item in the game so that I might get fly transformation. Little late for it to be helpful, but there are still some things that drop in here that I want to bring up. Pick that up, set it down.
relatively minor damage now. It adds a shot. Not sure. Why not? Hello, question marks. Blue baby, or what have a that jump of the homing shots, okay. Nice, 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 nice. I may yet come across something better for the bit. Than the double beast shot, but I'm honestly okay with it right now. <laughs> the thing that would improve this run right now would be tearing. And I'm pretty sure. Left something behind that increases tier rate. Don't get hit, don't get hit. There we go. Uh, nope. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe now, actually. What does this look like now? Ooh, three shots to each side. I'll take it. Give it a shot. What's it like? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That's very nice. I'm loving this. This is hilarious. So in case it uh, wasn't clear, performance thus far. T. Isaac kind of forces you to think about your build. It makes you really invest some effort into coming up with something really cool, but you can also easily tailor it. Uh-oh. Staying out of the range of each of those guys. I will pop the game kid if things are looking really dicey. Look like they will be. I haven't been hit yet. <laughs> Considerable thanks to Ring of Protection, actually, for turning a bunch of shots into Ooh, high damage homing shots. A lot of this is just learning how to dodge it and then remembering that for the rest of your Isaac career. And I don't care that it doesn't give me delirium because I'm not going for delirium because I already got delirium. <laughs> Mega chest has appeared in the basement. Oh, already so much checked off of that post-it note. I've only been going for like an hour and a half. Maybe an hour and a half, excluding breaks. Why don't we try to unlock another one of, uh, one of these characters? Or... Nope, not that. Hmm. Still haven't actually beaten the beast with Isaac because I respawned as another character. Hmm.
I'll give the last one good attempt. Basement XL. Interesting, interesting. What have we got? Not useful at all. Very useful. <laughs> Blast resistance is nice. Thank you, Eternal Six. And there's the other item room, and I'll have another charge just in time. Ow. Delicious. <laughs> hmm, I would think that. This is a lot of the time, that's gonna be tears up. I'll take that too, because that's, you know, free curse rooms. I'll never get trapped inside a curse room. Ouch. This is great. Okay. Whew. Uh, what's this way? Worm giving me Ouroboros worm is leave something we desire. <laughs> and I do already have spectral tears a lot of the time. Alright, I'll look for a place it soon. Pretty fly! Well, which one was that? Was that the... Ah, oh, I don't remember. I won't remember until I see it again. Maybe I can see it again, though. I can run into another pretty fly that's going to be in orbital. Brain whip is nice, I will say. Charge. Okay. Was it, was it doing brain worm and or boros worm at the same time there? Uh, I'll reroll that. That's okay. Okay. Mm hmm. You know what? I'm going to get another reroll ready. Save it for after the second boss fight. Actually, the second boss fight is going to give me another pip of charge, so I'll just do that now. And then I'll use the rest of the XL floor. I've done boss rush with the rocks. Was not good. Didn't like getting trapped there. Okay. I don't think so. Go away, go away. What a bottle swarm. I shall do here. I shall pick this up, pop it once, and then attempt to re-roll it. Okay. So that's one third of Guppy and one third of Bookworm. And I will go try to get another charge to use on uh people. Won't worry about trying to make boss rush. Blech. It's 
Despite how efficient, this XL floor is me. Sure. Likely to be useful. Can't make use of an HP up. Can't make use of a dark bomb. One room left that could be the shop. And hmm. I don't think I'll be able to make use of anything that might be in the shop. But that's fine. Ran it, hide, been lurking, and will continue to do so, but know that you aren't safe from my constrictive gaze. Oh dear. Oh no, whatever could that Oh, oh no. Constrictive gaze? Aw. Oh. Hmm. Actually, I can bomb here. Grab. No, I can't. I don't have enough. I'm one coin short. I can find a pot. I can find a pot. And, uh, no, not here. Leave this room. Or perhaps a secret room. This one? Yeah, right here. Secret room, give me a coin. Okay, give me a coin. Okay. A coin. Hmm. Aha! Wait. Judgment. Two bombs. Okay. Bomb here. No, coin! You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Um, I have another option of recourse. I can go into this room. No coins. Okay. Um, find a bunch of pots to blow up and get a coin. Or perhaps a super secret room. Like, not there. Right here. There's a pot there. There's some pots there. I'll blow this up in case it's a small rock. But it did defund the bomb. Coins. No. Coins. Ow! Okay. Well, I guess I'm not getting that. That's a shame. It would have been it would have been lovely to get an extra curse room per floor. Oh well. I'll head uh, I'll head down here. Not glad to hear you're looking. Lurking, planet. Boy. I can't talk. I am likely to die at any time. When that happens. Well, that's useless. And when that happens, I am going to uh, end stream, probably. It's been a productive stream. But I am just barely starting to get a little voice. As I have not refilled my water in a while. So I have been saving the last. Real quiet when I lost my mantle. Okay, that is not a mimic chest. Two bombs. I can go in here for free, but I'm gonna actually go first. See what's in here. Ah, uh, it turned into nothing. Oh well. Cycling through them in a set order? Sort of a waste on that? Speed up. Oh, okay. 0.15 speed up, not bad.
damage and range up was nice, but there's only so much you can do with a single damage and range up. Mm, I'll be rolling some. <gasps> Mysterious liquid! Nice! That's gonna be really good th against things that can't fly like I can. Particularly things like ground bound bosses. Steal my life. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Sure, I'll take that. Determined to get the quick kill this time. There we go. There we go! I don't want the Diplopia either of these. I would have probably liked to instead have hung on to the, uh, the, the, the dice. Okay. There's a range and luck up though. I'll take that. Wait a ding dang second. This is my third floor. Why didn't perfection drop? Perfection is always supposed to drop from the lost. Why didn't perfection drop? This is down poor two, which Oh, the XL floor! I'm a ding dang fool. Uh, that's useless, but. And, and that's useless too, actually. But that's not, so I'll pick that up before I re roll the others. Okay, here's a plan. Go in here, go down here, destroy this room, and then I've got, uh, mysterious liquid. Ah, don't die! Stupid. Barely telegraph their attacks. Ah. And then does it turn into... It does. That's weird. It's like it's doing them in the same order every time. Okay, after... After Ouroboros... And then... Uh, Brainworm. Does it then do the... I have to pay closer attention to that. Because if it's doing them in the same order every time... Okay, Ouroboros... Rainworm. Pulseworm. And then Rainworm. Wow. That's not that one. I have no idea that it would do that. So predictable! Holy cow! This is revolutionary! Sure, I'll take a club. That's an occasional damage boosted shot. Look like a tooth. So it goes lazy worm, autoboro swim, mind worm, pulse worm, ring worm. Yeah. 
Sure, I'll take that. What does it give me? I think it just gave me tears. It was very nice. Because I needed that. Uh, that can't hurt me. Alright, let's head on back. Grab Red Stew. Reroll both others. Hope that they don't disappear. Which is... Actually, bomb here. Aha! What's this? Okay, doesn't matter. Pick that up. Reroll these. Sure, I'll take you, maybe. And I won't take Night Light. Actually, I... Uh, you know what? Sure, I'll take that. And... Head on down. This one is lasting longer than I expected it to. Which is good. That is useless to me, but if I beat this room, I'm not doing the other ones. What? It's giving me... Oh, right, 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 right. No, no, I didn't. Reroll, turn into something good. Uh, you know what? I have been looking to replace. That's useless. To me. So it gave me an HP up, and then I took it for the trinket. But the trinket was something that triggers on hit. This room was pointless. The only way it could even turn into something good is if I re-roll all of my items into something. Okay. Okay, goodbye. Don't like the contents of that room. Excellent. An extra key. Just what I wanted. Not like I had what do you think? thirteen of them already. That's a tears up. I'll take that. And a range up. Very nice. Actually, that would have been a good room to try to go for death. Increased deal chance, though. Nothing to scoff at. I'm not gonna bother with these bonies, I just want them dead as soon as possible. Cap, cap. Excellent. Here we go, boss time. It's the husk! He's about fa as fast as usual. Excellent. Considerable lockup. What do we got here? Looks like goat head. Looks like I'll be taking that. Thank you. That's a. Ha 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 ha. This be okay. Your keys. It picks up, I guess. Their blood being switched. Okay, yeah, sure. That's pretty good. Uh, don't spawn anything. If you don't spawn anything, I'll get. Oh.
death approaches. Ooh, get up. What's this? A single penny, okay. I mean, that has more purchasing power now that I've got Steam Sale, but not the point. Okay, heading out. Catacombs 2, I'm not making hush. That's fine. I wouldn't say this is quite a hush ready run yet. <laughs> Although perhaps I will have a great rest of the run and then manage to pick up uh to pick up um Mama Mega from one of these shops. There you are. Get right. More coins? Okay. I'm not gonna bother killing all of those flies in the correct order because this one was going to turn into a ton of different little things and they were all going to die to the feet that I'm spawning by with my tears. It, it, it wouldn't have worked. It was doomed from the start! This one might do though. Yep, you and then you. Okay, a key. Acceptable. One supposes. Blip, blip, blip. Lucky penny. Don't mind if I do. You can't hit me over here. Get your smoke balls. Can't either because I'm killing them. I'm destroying them before they get the chance. Welcome to the dank depths. Rat soundtrack, horrible enemies. Like Turian. Of course, you would spawn enemies too. Quarter? No? Okay. If you say so. Yeah. No, you don't. Get out of here. Give me a sec. Yeah, that's a notification that I want to get rid of. Okay. What's in here? Don't care. Moving on. Oh good, a spirit heart. Exactly what the loss needs. Those guys are gonna spawn spiders when they die? I don't think I wanna bother. And the Empress is still good. So I'll keep holding on to that. Blech. Ooh, that was a stat up. It was a damage up! I got a damage up! Plus, it, uh, a whole plus one damage up. Not bad. Toxic Aura tiers, so they have piercing now. Except they are a little slower. That's fine. That's a mimic chest. Just gonna of doing that, okay. Snake up some one. Otherwise, otherwise I feel like I could have done something a little clever with that. Experimental Range up tears down. Not keen on it. Uh, Reroll that, see if it becomes something handy. Mm, no, not really, not really. You know, I will go back here. Grab the battery. Battery, battery, battery. Yoink. Oh, 
No. No. Don't buy. I, you know, I will buy a bomb. Bomb. And sack. And kill. There's the, another one? I'm mad. I'm mad. Why would you do this to me? Identified now. Damage up. Nice, nice. Thank you. Super secret. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Health up. Oh, goody. Now I'm slightly redder. The only effect that that had on me. Okay, that's not strictly true. It also made me slightly annoyed. All right, what do we got? Spit out enemies at your peril. Gate. Actually, I don't think this one does. Drip. Oh good, another health up. I will absolutely take what you need. And let's reroll this. I don't have any way to further recharge my active item, so I'll just... Thank you. Health up! Now I'm health orb up. Depths 2, Curse of the Lost. <gasps> Dead cat! I'm Gupper! I am Gupper! I can fly now! That's not the primary benefit of Gupper. Hmm. Spawn it. No, 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 no spawn it. Good. It was a spirit card. He gave me a spirit card. Verp. Verp will now verp a verp. And there's another one in here. Sure, it could be interesting. Yeah, okay. Perhaps you have something for me, little man. Holy cow, the cash. You know what? I'll accept that. Pills. Okay. That is a tears up. Shots are down. Which is gonna be interesting. This is gonna suck against stationary bosses. Or it's going to rule against stationary bosses. Holy cow. gonna suck against stationary bosses that I can't get close to. That's almost certain.
hoodie. Oh, I healed. And that, uh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Just a ton of batteries. Give me an item, perhaps. Okay. Hmm. I have nine lives, actually. I think I know exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go and look the hardest character in the game. I'm going to go unlock the hardest character in the game. That's one step to it. It's what's this one? Empress? Empress. Don't care about that. <laughs> Gonna drop that there. <laughs> Lit bulb was around here somewhere. Actually, I will take this. Dirty cap. Oh, all of them were teeth before because of the lockups. why it's good to have that. This isn't where I wanted to go, but sure. You know, I'd love to pop the world. And, you know, get a, get a glimpse of the, the map, but... Ooh, actually, that's quite nice. Mystery gift. What have we got? Rock bottom! Must have actually hit a lower cap. But this means I want to go back and hang on to Vibrant Bulb. Grab Vibrant Bulb. Take it to the shop. Pick up my active item again. Permanently get the bonuses. Nice, nice. But then I also want to take it in here, grab a Liberty Cap, because Liberty Cap will occasionally give me bonuses on top of that. Aha! There that is. And actually, I'm going to go back here. Ugh. Not this way, apparently. I'm going to go back here. Down, down. Pick up perfection. I now have... Wait, what gave me that luck up? After... Oh. Anyway, now it doesn't matter if I drop perfection because I'll always have that high luck and I'm always going to be shooting out these teeth. <laughs> 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 
But in the meantime, this trinket here is going to randomly be giving me uh, small stat bonuses from the mushrooms that it copies. And that is going to be locked in place by uh, Rock Bottom. Because Rock Bottom is complicated. And also, potentially, one of the most powerful items in the game. Not on its own, but, you know, when, when, when used throughout the course of a run. Honestly, I would have liked it before all of those shot speed downs, probably, but eh, it's fine. It's fine. And the boss is down here. Card, so I made good use of that uh -oh. What if I die here? Okay. Mm, I'll pick this up. That didn't do anything for me. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh no, I know why that didn't do anything. Actually, this could be really good, now that I think about it. Pop the Fool. Somewhere around here, there is an Empress card that I want to use. Somewhere... Empress! That didn't do anything. Empress. I'm a fool! I should have saved it for a room that I slew a bunch of creatures in. Creature lands. Anyway, all right, let's, let, 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 let's go down. I'll try to explain more about uh, Rock Bottom. What it is, is it uh, locks your stats. It, it, it effectively locks your stats at the highest they get. Yeah, sure, that's what you that. Oh, yeah, they're getting homing and not actually moving at all. Perhaps if more momentum were applied to them, then they would dip their home traits. Hmm. Fortunately not. Ooh, that's Black Candle, thank you. Damage up will then persist afterwards. Sure, let's get crazy. What does Lacquer Fade do? Ooh, I like that actually. Bonk. Nice. Okay, what have we got in here now? says bonk. <laughs> exactly. I'll take those. And there's something interesting new in here. That's rusted key. I don't care. Okay. Okay. Range down. I could take that and it wouldn't matter much. But I'm not going to because it would affect my future ability to get range up. Because my stats are still being calculated behind the scenes. It's just that their effective damage and range and tier values are the biggest they've ever been. They're locked at the biggest they've ever been. Their effective values, not their actual values. It's confusing. That could actually give me a bigger effect. And mushroom. So sure, I'll pick up a lot of that. Mm, that's more pills. That could be a secret room. It 
is excellent. Now I wonder if the I have the lyle tears when they split. That one was definitely homing in on him. Oop. Sure, I'll take that. Because those pills could be very good. 48 hour energy, okay. More bombs, thank you. Two of clubs, I will pop that. Two of clubs. Plus diarrhea, no. Health up, doesn't matter. Pretty fly, yes, thank you. And then I'll hold on to 48 hour energy. Lovely. Mm-hmm. So if that's not the super secret room, then what is? Uh oh. This room could be dangerous. Fortunately, I've got my mice. It gave me a stat up, but I didn't see what it was because the stat up that it gave me was negligible in the face of my locked stats. Imagine if I get that. Imagine if I could red store those points. That would be a crazy. Secret! Ah, it's just red hearts. It's just a small handful of red hearts. And here we go, ascension time! Whew! I spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. Take up the bishop. Ah! How can you have spent our savings? Take out the bishop. Before that thing summons a bunch of stuff. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. Got all of those things. Come on, come on. Okay. It can be dangerous. 11.65 damage. Eventually, Lusty Blood is going to take me up above that. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be in a room where I have to kill a lot of things though. Ooh. You could give me chests. Give me chests that contain items. That could contain throw bombs, so I won't open it just yet. This one is a bit further away. Ooh! Well, I do have plenty of keys, I'll take that. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Actually, if this fellow drops a lump of coal, he didn't. Okay. What's this? The Empress. and use it in a room after I kill a bunch of things and maybe get a huge okay. injury. And now he's dead. Okay. I'll use this in a room after I kill a bunch of things and maybe get a, an a, additional damage up. It did! It worked! Plus one damage! Nice! And further on top of that. Yes! Excellent. Now I deal 13 damage instead of one of them. I'll take a bit more to increase the capacity beyond that, though. 
I do have to go back. I might as well pop Ansos here. Okay, this is the last stream. I... Backpack. That's actually... That's actually quite nice. I can hold another active item. I have to hold on to cracked key all the way back up. Okay. So destructive and disturbed, just like his father. Hmm? Look at who he has to look up to. There's another cracked key. Shut up! Get back up. Shut up! Strange. Back to key. Mm, not anything really of use in here, but another chest. A lot of coins. Okay. If I manage to get my hands on money equals power somehow, I'm gonna have a good time because that is going to considerably increase my damage. Da -da 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 -da. You just popped straight into the giant radioactive tooth maelstrom. I bet you're feeling silly about yourself now. That could make it easier to increase my damage bonus. So I could pick it up. It didn't actually increase my damage, but it did increase my damage behind the scenes, which means... What's a cursor? Oh no, this is a red room cursor means it opened up after I cleared the room because it was copying ah! copying the trinket that does that. Which I haven't actually even unlocked. It's dangerous to go alone. I get a ton of cards from this that will increase my damage. I could increase it above 13. We'll see. Maybe Now this is mostly useless, but I'll be able to re-roll it sometime if I get another active item in the future. I honestly probably should have re-rolled it first thing, but... It was to show what I'm thinking. Another cracked key? Are you serious? Have I seriously been leaving so many trinkets behind? Without even thinking about the consequences? Alright, I'll crack the key here. Blah. I mean, they're good consequences, but still, it's something I had managed to entirely forget about. Uh, shots be up. No take. That hit. Okay. Alright. It's been annoying to lose a life before even getting to the boss that I'm going for. Yes, the. Yeah, be more like it. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You need to confess your sins and become saved. Let his light inside you cleanse your you soul. If one of these hits, I die. If I'd realized I was going for this, I would have perhaps. Oh, no, thank you. I would have perhaps. I uh, gone for a planetarium and gotten another planetarium item. I was right though, I have I was brilliant. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's 
this. Range down. Down up. Don't matter. Excel floor, so it's the last one. Another pretty fly. Lovely. I don't think it's speed up. I don't think that actually affected my stats, but it's fine. Blah, 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 blah. It's there in case there's something like a range up that I want to use potentially over and over again. I listen in, this is I think a 10% chance to uh, drop a copy of the consumable you just took. So a 10% chance of turning one range up into two range ups. That's not bad. spend these 99 coins on. The hermit, that's not going to do spot. Hey, you know what, Boop. It was just another spirit heart. <laughs> Goodbye. You shan't last long in the storm of tears. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> What's our trinket that I want to do right there? No. 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 Okay. Time to move on then. Um, hmm. So, for those not in the know, any trinket left behind in an item room or a boss room will show up on the way back. As a cracked key. And the cracked key. <gasps> the first mega chest! Yes! What have we got? How many keys are you going to take from me? It's just a bunch of stuff. Okay. Judgment. That's. That will kill me if I touch it. Okay. <laughs> yep. Excellent. But the cracked key is naturally used in here to unlock another B-side character. D lost. Can't believe that's the second one we got. Hmm. Sure, I'll take that. Hmm. Well, that's useless, but I can reroll that and get freeze effect. Nice. All right. Alright, dogma fight time. Yep. Don't like those static things. Oh, holy cow! Oh, there, there goes my mantle. Uh oh. This is bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, beaten. Yes. Okay. Second phase. Nicely done, my man. I'm glad you think so. Oh yeah, the DPS here is insane. And, oh, it's actually gonna get higher because I am probably actually going to get a DPS up from killing all of the minions in the Pestilence and the Death Fights. Was that? Ah, uh, Beesh. Don't need Beesh. Okay, and you are not going to even get the chance to send this bomb. Excellent. <laughs> this kind of damage is what we're looking for. Yep, all of those should count towards the should count towards the lusty blood. Uh, actually, I don't know. This is gonna do more for me than 404 at this point. And now for the beast itself. Come on, come on. The longer I spend in here, the more likely I am to actually perish, and then need to I love how castle castle crashers e this gets. I'm not actually very familiar with Castle Crashers. I'm... I mean, I can recognize the art style. Anyway. Hungry Soul has appeared in the basement, and next time we have a new character to play around with. The hardest one in the game! <laughs> I'll give it a couple of tries. The sooner we get to work on clearing that character's post-it note, the... The less time it will require grinding it out towards the end of the series. Anyway, next time then, we'll we'll start on that. Uh, see you then. <laughs> uh, castle crashers. I may have to look into playing Castle Crashers. I don't know. Bye, Smuck. Goodbye, Ash! Goodbye, Planet! Actually, is Sassy still streaming? Later, thanks for the stream. Is Sassy still streaming? <gasps> Sassy is still streaming. Let me double check. Let's reload. Let's see if this is still accurate. Yeah, well, let's do a raid! Raid. Sassy Victress. Let's spell that right. I'm sure I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. Here we go. See you next time, everyone. <laughs>